Johnson Real Estate. You can hear it every Thursday morning at 7.50. Whoa. I'm really sorry what I screwed that up to. You're fine. Okay. AM 1450, FM 99.3, KNSI. Time for another edition of Taking You Home with Voight Johnson Real Estate. You can hear the show every Thursday morning at 7.23, and then again Saturday morning at 7.50. Start your home search at VoightJohnson.com. Brandon, good to see you, sir. Good morning, Bob. How are you? Well, I'm good. I'm a little curious as to uh, how things are going numbers-wise because, you know, you always hear something about this market and that market, this national story, that national story. What about here in central Minnesota? What about the state of Minnesota? How are we doing out there? Yeah, so we always kind of, the, the question is when we roll out of the winter months into spring and we're here already in February with... Right. Balmy 50 degree temperatures, right? right? So it feels definitely feels like spring. The question is, what is the market going to be like coming up in the new year? And so historically, that's people buy and sell homes all year round. Sure. Um, the spring market is where people kind of prepare from the previous fall into the spring to sell. Um, I just want to go through here locally in central Minnesota, St. Cloud area, that the amount of transactions in January over the past few years. Um, in 2021, and this is in the St. Cloud, uh, Benton, and Stearns County area, local okay. central Minnesota. Uh, three years ago, January 2021, there was 152 units sold. In 2022, there was um, 144 units sold. And in January of 2023, 89 units okay. sold. So there is, um, and I attribute that to less inventory. Again, yeah. people are not making that decision out of necessity. And what's happening is there's a pent up demand to move. Sure. So when interest rates come down, when people have said, I've had enough, I'm my family's growing, whatever life um, change happens, things are starting to bust loose at the seams. And I think just the um, marginal in interest rate decrease we've had here in the last sure, 45 days really has start to yeah. precipitate. More people are putting their homes in the market. There's starting to be a lot of momentum from um, sellers that have been waiting by the sidelines in the last two years. Okay, but let's look at the other side of that, right? The fact that there are very qualified buyers out there, and they're kind of taking their time a little bit, right? Because they're still buying houses. Yes, and so what's interesting, um, nationally, the some of the bigger national home builders sure. have really been, over the last 18 months, um, trying uh, interest rate buy-downs. And so what they've... what the numbers have really demonstrated is when they buy that interest rate down to 6% or six and a quarter, that's when things bust loose. And so right now, that's when the people feel like, okay, I'm at a lower interest rate, but I feel comfortable moving again. Okay. Um, and so that's really kind of the litmus test. So if we get to a point where we have another three quarters to an interest rate push, you're going to see more people making that decision based out of they've been holding off over the last two years. Well, let's talk a little bit about those qualified buyers that have been, you know, doing what they're supposed to do, putting money away the way they are supposed yep. to, and all that kind of thing. They're sitting in a pretty good place right now, aren't they? Yeah, and so what that means for a seller is you're, you still have some choices when you are able to vet a buyer if you have multiple offers, and really that's our job or where we come into play is to create that level of when you're listing your home, that there's a feeling of competition okay. where you can select the most, what you feel is qualified buyer, because you are there are a number of you know very good buyers that are have been waiting for various level of reasons. For sure. Now, you're not a lender. Correct. You don't play one on the radio. Kind of <laughs> important to talk about that. It's also important that people need to know that, listen, if, if you are thinking about buying that home, right now is a great time just because of where interest rates are. Yes, uh, I think just I was listening to the news here on my way over here this morning and the employment numbers blew it out of the park much higher yeah. than um, they were expecting. So what you're seeing here this morning is the treasury rate went up like three quarters of a point just okay. like that. So that's um, putting pressure on inflation. So um, things are very volatile right in now. the financial world. So right. um, numbers, values of homes are not coming down. As soon as interest rates start to decrease, you're going to find that's going to push values up even higher. I'm so, really glad that you said volatile because you know what's not volatile? You know what's still the best investment over time? 
your home. home. Yep. Absolutely. You got to live somewhere, right? Yeah, and, and this is not a sprint. This is a long time. This is one of those marathons in your life. Yep. This is a great time to purchase a home. Absolutely. And it really depends on your situation, um, you know, whether you're renting, whether you're moving up, um, taking a job transfer. The job market um, here in central Minnesota is as strong as it's ever been. Um, and so that just lays to the solid foundation in the housing market here in the St. Cloud area. Okay, one of the things that is super important is your credit rating, right? So if you have a little time right now to get that credit rating repaired, like 750 or above means you're in with a pretty good rate, right? Yeah, and, th and that's a good point because I'm just dealing with some clients here now where they have some flexibility on the home that they're purchasing. The sellers are flexible with them, and they're, we're pushing it out a few months because their lender's um, working through one of the buyers where they feel they can get her inter or credit score up to save them about $200 a month on a payment. And that's so, huge. Absolutely, especially if you're a first time home buyer or younger person, um, every um, every $50 a month is substantial, right? Really good light at the end of the tunnel that's coming and it's not a train. I like that <laughs> stuff. Brandon, how do we work with you at... Uh, Voight hold Johnson. A hold on a second. Brandon, how do we work with you at Voight Johnson Real Estate? Uh, you can reach us at 320-774-2400 or online VoigtJohnson.com. AM 1450, FM 99.3, KNSI, taking you home every Thursday morning at 723, Saturday at 750, here on KNSI. Start that home search at VoigtJohnson.com. Brandon, thank you. Thanks, Bob.